of you, the rose and I. The rose evolved the fragrance of its pollen, the shape and color of its petals to attract both hummingbird and bee, seeking its sweet nectar, pollinating its stamens with the dust of other roses' anthers. In time, the rose's petals fall, but now it bears the seed. And after all, wasn't it all about the seed? So you, my rose, do wear the fragrance of a flower and are clothed in seductive shapes and vibrant colors that I find most alluring. I taste your honeyed lips luxuriate within the nectar of your loins and marvel at the wondrous nature of our delicious dalliance, you, my rose, and I. This is a letter to those corporate pirates and banksters from the resistance. I am liquid, fluid, hydraulic, and cannot be contained. You squeeze me only to see how I squirt out of crevices, jet out through pinholes, rupture the weakest points of your containment. I am the many-headed hydra of your guilt-ridden dreams. Disturbing your sleep, I shall not let you rest. In your nightmares, I shall multiply from every wound I suffer at your hands as you more frantic grow in your attempts to cut me down. I am the Medusa you dare not confront directly. So you dwell in many mirrored rooms and halls of false reflections. The time shall come when thieves of night, unloosed, shall steal into your well-lit chambers, dousing well-placed torches, snuffing out your candles. In mirrored rooms and hallways darkened now, hammer-laden fists shall strike out, shattering every smooth reflective surface. Disturbed from sleep, awakened, you will, arising, light the oil lamp you keep beside your bed only to reveal what you fear most. My monstrous snake-locked visage that shall turn your flesh to stone. <laughs> Thank you. Well said. <laughs>